हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अक्षिता यूर एजुकेटर एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन एज वी नो फ्रेंड्स ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म हैज लॉन्च अ कम्प्लीट कोर्स फॉर अपकमिंग सीटेड एग्जामिनेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स विल बी डिस्कसिंग द होल सिलेबस ऑफ सीटेड एग्जामिनेशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सीरीज वी हैव स्टार्टअप विद द मैथ्स टॉपिक फॉर पेपर वन एज वेल एज पेपर टू सो होल मैथ्स कंप्लीट मैथ्स विल बी टेकन अप ओवर इन दिस सीरीज फॉर पेपर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर पेपर वन एज वेल एज फॉर पेपर टू नाउ द मैथ्स विल बी टॉट इन सच अ वे दैट यू विल लर्न सर्टन टिप्स एज वेल एज द ट्रिक्स टू गेट द आंसर इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स सो फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर गिव एन क्वेश्चन यू कैन सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन विद इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स इन सच अ वे दिस पर्टिकुलर कोर्स हैज बिन डिजाइंड सो दैट you can score maximum marks in the examination and can have guaranteed selection so in today's lecture number 3 will be again discussing about the foundation uh, required for mathematics paper 1 as well as paper 2 in the previous lectures we have discussed what are the different types of numbers what are the place value face value in today's lecture we'll be discussing about the divisibility rules or we can say the test of divisibility will be discussed in today's lecture before moving into the video friends for ten uh, central teacher eligibility test a complete course has been launched by the global online platform and uh, for uh, paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 for of seated so this particular course consists of the following features let us discuss what are the features provided to you the very first feature is full syllabus theory lectures will be provided to you practice multiple mcqs will be carried out mock test will be provided at the same time full syllabus notes will be provided in the course fees of 2000 rupees so if you want to get enrolled to the course of central teacher eligibility test paper 1 as well as for the paper 2 this will be provided to you in the course fees of 2000 rupees only so for the subscription of the course you can download the global online application or contact us on this given whatsapp number which is 8669316919 or 8179138413 is the contact number on which you can contact for the subscription of the course you can also get subscribed to the particular course by installing the global online application from the play store with such a logo once you will install the application open it you will find such type of interface in this particular interface if you look downwards there is an icon named as store icon you have to click on it you'll move to the page called as my courses in my courses there is a search tab in search tab you have to type seated once you'll type seated the course along with the fees will be displayed downwards and hence you can get enrolled to the course and if you're not able to understand how to get enrolled uh, to the course via application you can simply contact us on this whatsapp number and get enrolled to the course so without any further ado let us begin with today's lecture in today's lecture we'll be discussing about the test of divisibility so very first thing now why is it necessary to understand the test of divisibility so whenever we come across certain uh, divisions with huge number at that time we must be able to understand that a particular given number is it divisible by 2 is that particular number divisible by 3 to understand that a uh, particular number is divisible by 4 5 10 or it is divisible by 18 so for that we required to understand the, what is the divisibility test so we'll start up with the very basic that is a divisibility test for 2 or divisibility by 2 okay so to understand that a given number is divisible by 2 or not for that you have to check that particular given number see so unit digit what does it mean now let us elaborate this particular statement of mine with an example if i take an example over here i'll take a number that is 84932 if i look at this number carefully we have to check the unit place of this number so the unit digit of this number is 2 yes so whenever we find an even a number at even number now we know what is even number right so if we find any even number at the unit digit of any number any large number we can clearly say that that particular number is divisible by 2 so the test of divisibility by 2 is a very simple you just have 
to focus on the given numbers unit place so if the unit place or the unit digit is given an even number agar even number de rakha hai even number is given at the unit place it means that that particular number is divisible by 2 you can take any huge large number 9 4 3 2 7 3 1 2 5 2 7 2 so this is the number if i want to check that this particular number is divisible by 2 or not i will simply check the unit place so the unit place is an even number so this particular number is divisible by 2 if i take certain numbers like 7 3 1 5 2 7 4 okay look at the unit place unit place is again a even number so this is number divisible by 2 if i take one more example that is 2 4 5 0 so so here the the unit place is is again we know that zero is a even number so simply this is num this number is again divisible by टू okay so this is the divisibility test of टू you simply have to check that the unit digit is even or not if it is even then that particular number is divisible by टू and if the number is odd like टू सेवन थ्री टू सेवन is the number so सेवन is an odd number so this particular number is not divisible by टू so this was the simple test of divisibility by टू okay so I hope you have understood the divisibility test of टू the next divisibility test that we are going to study is the divisibility by थ्री so whenever we study the divisibility by 3 okay so the thing that you have to keep in mind that whatever the number is given whatever the number is given for example i'll take a number like 592482 592482 is the number to check particular this number is divisible by 2 so divisible by 3 or not what i have to do is i have to take the summation of each Digit over here with the other like nine plus five plus two plus four plus eight plus two is the process that I'm going to follow. So take this summation now. Five plus nine is what? Fourteen. Fourteen plus two is again uh sixteen. Am I right? Sixteen plus four twenty twenty eight and this is going to be thirty. So summation is thirty. so whatever the summation is coming here you have to check now whether this particular summation is divisible by 3 or not if this summation is divisible by 3 it means that the whole number is divisible by 3 now the summation was 30 divide 30 by 3 we know the 30 is divisible by 3 it means this particular whole number is divisible by 3 we'll take one more example like Okay, I'll write over here itself. So eight six four three two nine. Now check this particular number is divisible by three or not. Carry out the summation. Eight plus six, fourteen. Fourteen plus four, eighteen. Eighteen plus three. Twenty three. Twenty three plus nine. This is going to give you. summation which is equal to 48 am i right yes sorry 8 plus 6 sorry sorry this is going to give you not 48 this is going to give you 32 the summation is what the summation is 32 so 8 6 4 3 2 let me check once again 14 14 yes 32 so this particular number now we can clearly see this is The summation is coming thirty two. So thirty two को अगर three से divide करेंगे, so this is not going to be divided by three. Hence, this particular number is uh, not divisible by three. Is the answer to the given question. So simply, this is the divisibility test of three. Whenever you have to understand that one particular given number is divisible by three or not, you just take the summation of all the numbers and divide the summation by three. If whether the summation is divisible by three or not, depending upon that. will understand that particular given number is divisible by 3 or not okay let let us take next divisibility test that is divisibility by 4 divisibility by 4 okay so 
to check whether to check whether a number is given or a given number is divisible by 4 or not what are the steps that you have to follow now look here i'll give a number we'll take the same number 89264 let us take this number okay to check that whether this particular number is divisible by 4 or not what we have to do is check the last two digits now what we have done in the case of 2 what we have done in the case of 2 we have checked just the unit place but in case of 4, in case of divisibility test of 4, we are going to check the last two digits. What are the last two digits over here? 48. 48 this is the last two digits that is unit place as well as the tens place you have to check here. Okay. Now, checking at the last two digits that is 48 is divisible by 4 or not will understand that this particular number will be divisible by 4. Okay. Now, 48 is the last two digits over here check whether this 48 is divisible by 4 yes it is divisible by 4 okay so from this we can conclude that if the last two digits are divisible by 4 it means the whole number is divisible by 4 now one thing that you have to do is ek saath aapko cheeze yaad rakhne what you have to do is you have to remember the divisibility test of uh, more than one number at once like divisibility of 2 and divisibility of 4 can be can be like uh, summarize at once like what we can say for divisibility test of two you just have to check one digit for divisibility test of four you just have to check last two digits that is unit place you have to check karna and you have to check here unit as well as the tens plus okay so in this way you can remember the things so div for divisibility test of three and divisibility test of nine you can remember at once how i'll i'll just show you for divisibility test of three what we have done we have simply taken the summation of all numbers and we have divide that summation by three and our basis based upon that we have said that that particular given number is divisible by three or not for divisibility test of nine what we are going to do is same again the same thing that you have to do for example i have given a number like six zero seven three two is the number okay Take summation of all the numbers 6 plus 0 plus 7 plus 3 plus 2. This is same as just like the divisibility test of 3. Only the difference is what were, what were we doing? We were taking the summation first for the divisibility test of 3. What was the, what is the summation for here? 6 plus 7 is 13. 13 plus 3 again 16, 16, 17, 18. Right? So, 18 is the summation. For divisibility test, humne kya kiya tha? we have divided it by 3. For divisibility test of 3. For the divisibility test of 9, we have to divide this, this summation by 9. This is only the basic difference between the divisibility test of 3 and divisibility test of 9. For divisibility test of 3, we have to divide the summation by 3. And for the divisibility test of 9, we have to divide the summation by 9. So, based upon this, we will say that, that this particular given is given number is divisible by 9 or divisible by 3. Got it? So, this was again a simple. Now, we have completed the divisibility test of 2. We have completed the divisibility test of 4. We have completed the divisibility test of 3 as well as 9. Now, let us study the divisibility test of 4. Just let me rub out the slide once. Okay. So, so for the divisibility test of 2, oh sorry, 4. Sorry, we have studied the divisibility test of 2. We have studied the divisibility test of 4 as well as 3 and 9. Let us study the divisibility test of 5 and 6 now. For the divisibility test of 5, what you have to do is simple again this is a very simple divisibility test of 5 where we have to check the last digit unit digit last digit unit digit of any given number if the unit digit is a 0 or the if or the unit digit is 5 if the unit digit for any given number is among these two numbers that is 0 or 5. Based upon that, we can say that that particular given number is divisible by 5. For example, I'll take a number 50, 
0.5550000. These are few numbers. So look at the unit place over here. What are the unit place given here? The unit place over here is 0. The unit place is 1. Unit place is 5. 5 and the unit place is 0. What I have said you for divisibility test of 5, unit digit should be compulsorily 0 or 5. If it is 0 or it if, if it is 5, then only that number is divisible by 5. Here it is 0, it means this whole number is divisible by 5. Here it is 1, it means the whole number is not divisible by 5. Here the unit place is 5, it means the whole number is divisible by 5. Here it is 5 again divisible by 5. Yahan pe 0 hai, it means the whole number is divisible by 5. So this is what the divisibility test of 5 talks about. Okay, so we have completed divisibility test of 2, 4, 3, 9 and as well as 5. Now let us talk about the divisibility test of 10. Let us study the 5 and 10 at once. Okay, 5 and 10 ek saath ek padenge. Okay, 5 to pad liya, let us study about the 10. Or is it 10 divisibility test talk about? So, divisibility test of 10. When we study the divisibility test of uh, 10, that is a number is divisible by 10 or not, we just have to understand that its unit digits compulsorily must have 0. In case of 5, in case of 5, divisibility test of 5, we have seen unit place should be 0 and 5. But in case of 10's divisibility test, the unit place should be 0 only. Got it? So, if a number consists of 0 at its unit place, it means that particular number is divisible by 10. Okay? So, summarize or uh, whenever you revise the divisibility test, revise in such a manner that 2 or 4 you will revise at once ok uh, nextly 3 and 9 you will revise at once as well as 5 and 10 you are going to revise at once ok so this is how you have to understand that everything is linked with each other here we have understand the unit place single unit place we have checked here we have uh, checked the 2 unit uh, sorry unit as well as the tens place 2 digits we have uh, checked over here in case of 3, we have taken the summation as well as in case of 9, we have taken the summation. Only the summation was uh, divided by 3. Here, summation was divided by 9 was the difference. In case of 5, the unit place should compulsorily consist of 0 and 5 to understand that a number is divisible by 5 or not. In case of 10, the unit place should consist of 0 was the uh, rule for divisibility by 10. Now, let us understand the divisibility rule by 6. This will be the last divisibility that we will understand and then we will end the session. Okay. Uh, along with this, no. First of all, what we will do, we will uh, uh, take the divisibility test of 8 as it is linked with again 2 and 4. In case of 2, what we have seen, we have just seen the last one digit. In case of 4, we have checked the last two digits. In case of 8, we are going to check the last three digits of any given number. So, let us understand it first. Divisibility test of 8. In case of 2, we have seen one single digit, last single digit. In case of 4, last two digits they come in, 1 and 2 and in case of 8 we are going to check the last three digits. So for the divisibility test of 8, what we will do here is for a given number, for example the number is 9533360 to check whether this particular given number is divisible by 8 or not you have to check the last three digits over here. What are the last three digits? Last three digits are 360. Whether 360 is divisible by 8 or not, check this thing now. Yes, it is divisible by 8. So, it means that the whole number is divisible by 8. Got it? In case of divisibility test of 8, check that, check the last three digits 
and check the last three digits are whether divisible by 8 or not. If divisible, then the whole number is divisible by 8. If not divisible, then the whole number is not divisible by 8 is the divisibility test of 8. So, in today's lecture, we have understood a uh, few divisibility tests. We have understood the divisibility test of 2. We have understood the divisibility test of 4 and 8. Last 8 digit dekhna we have to check the last two digit last three digits and whether depending upon that will tell the number is divisible by two four or eight or not next we have studied the divisibility test of three and nine based upon this we have what we have uh, seen that we have to take the summation and the summation should be divisible by three and the summation should be divisible by nine to follow the divisibility test of three and nine then we have studied divisibility test of five as well as ten so these were few divisibility tests that we have studied and in upcoming lectures we will study the remaining divisibility test as uh, what is remained 2 is completed 3 is completed 4 5 6, uh, uh, 6 is remained okay similarly 8 uh, 9 has been completed 10 also has been completed uh, we will study about 11 okay we will study about 12 14 15 16 as well as 24 40 and 80 will be the left out divisibility test that we will study okay so this was end of today's lecture i hope you have understood and uh, i also want you guys to do one thing that practice as much as numbers as possible that take one certain number and check whether uh, you are able that to apply the divisibility test on that number or not okay so if you do that it means that in upcoming uh, few to five days you'll be able to understand what is the role of the divisibility in our practice sessions okay so this is important to make your calculation faster so this is the only thing uh, that is linked up with this basic foundation batch okay so in upcoming two to three lectures maximum two lectures are required where i'll complete the whole foundation required for you guys and this course is exclusively in english so if you want the course in any other regional language you can let me know in the comment section and uh, yes we can have a, a, a lectures based upon your re regional language as well okay so this was end of today's lecture thank you for watching it again if you want to get enrolled to the course you can let us know in the comment section or you can simply contact us on this given whatsapp number which is 8669316919 or 8179138413 and get enrolled to the course thank you for watching the video have a great day everyone bye